Hello and welcome back to Love Where You Live, a monthly magazine brought to you by the Sheboygan County Chamber of Commerce. I'm your host, Betsy Alice, and I'm the Executive Director of the Chamber. This morning, we are going to meet some folks who are very much involved at the Chamber in our Young Professionals Movement. I'm going to start out this morning by just having them introduce themselves and tell you a little bit about what they love about this area. I'll start with Gracia. Okay, um, my name is Gracia Fiaius. Um, what I love about Sheboygan the most is the lakefront, um, the lake overall. I think that anybody that comes to Sheboygan has to visit our lake. It's just beautiful. Um, we also have the opportunity to have um, the city, but as well as a countryside to our to Sheboygan. Mm -hmm. And what do you do, Gracia? So I work at Rockline Industries in the HR and Training Department, and I'm part of Coastal. I'm the chair of the steering committee. Great. And Coastal is our young professionals organization in Sheboygan County. Thank you. Thank you. I'm uh, Alec Hardline. Uh, I'm an engineer at Sargento. I'm a member at large on the uh, steering committee for Coastal. I uh, moved to Sheboygan about three years ago. I think I would echo uh, Gracia's comments about the lake being Sheboygan's greatest asset. Um, certainly the one thing you see uh, that you need to see here. Also just the uh, combination of, of really great companies in the area. I, I moved here for, for, the comp for Sargento, uh, but there's just so many great organizations giving back to the community here. That's true. Very generous. A lot of family-owned businesses here that really sustain our economy, even through bad times. So, thank you, Alan. And Carissa. Um, I'm Carissa Schlegel. Mm -hmm. I do work at the Chamber, <laughs> and um, I am the Coastal Young Professionals Network um, and the Special Events Coordinator. Um, the best asset, too, I, of course, is the lake, but um, as Gracia kind of pointed out, too, I really like um, how we do, we have big city amenities, mm -hmm. but at lower costs, like a little city. We have everything that you could think of right here. We have an art center. We have all this stuff that I love about the city, but we also have it here. So it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's encouraging yes. too. I mean, that's really what we want to hear yes. because we are, as our audience knows, we have more than 3,000 jobs available in Sheboygan County right now. So we'd love to have a huge influx of, of folks like you and young professionals and, and people in all categories to come and Come and stay in Sheboygan County. So thanks. This morning we're going to focus on a very special event that has, I think we're in our third year. Uh, it's called YP Week. But before we do that, I'm going to have Gracia tell us just a little bit about Coastal Young Professionals. Perfect. Um, Coastal Young Professional Network is an organization that is off of the Sheboygan Chamber. Um, we currently have about a little over 600 members. Um, we welcome young professionals in the Sheboygan County that either live or work in Sheboygan. Um, and we truly, we truly try to focus on the aspect of social development and professional development. Um, we have combined committees that work together to provide events. And we also collaborate with organizations, businesses, venues, and restaurants to try to highlight them. Um, we really want to make sure that our young professionals grow roots in the Sheboygan area and that they feel that this is home, as well as try to um, highlight all of these businesses and organizations that we have. Um, we reach out to great leaders, top executives here in Sheboygan County, and we have them speak to our young professionals about how they got to where they're at and all of those topics that YPs want to learn about. Um, and we really want to make sure that our young professionals become those top leaders. Uh, and by doing that, we also want to make sure that they stay in the Sheboygan area. Um, we don't want to lose them. We want to make sure that they stay here, and I think that ultimately helps our workforce. That's such an excellent capsule for, for what the whole group is trying to accomplish. And I think what our businesses would like to see happen, too. I think that the great part about it, too, is that we can all say here that we're very busy. Um, so there's very little commitment to it. We want to make sure that we have all of those events available. But if a YP can attend, it's OK. Um, it's mm -hmm. really up to what they can go and up to their schedules. Yeah, I really liked the change now that they can actually just sign up for the emails. Yes. And they become a member, so to speak. But they, it allows them to hear about all the exciting things in all those categories that are going on. 
the career development piece, the social piece, all of those things. So what has been your involvement? You're, you're now the, the chair of Young Professionals. Yes. And prior to that, were you involved in other ways with other committees? So the great part about this is that um, I'm from Rockland Industries and I was really looking to take my career to the next level. So I met with my manager and he's like, you need to get involved in Coastal. Um, you need to really learn about what's out there in the community, how you can help out. And also, this is a great professional way for you to kind of learn to network with others as well. Um, so I got involved in our, back then, our development committee. Mm -hmm. And I was a part of the event planning. Um, and then after that, I became the chair for our ambassador committee. Our ambassador committee really focuses on recruitment of um, new members mm -hmm. um, and that was a great leadership opportunity for me and along the way I was able to make a lot of friends, um, great relationships with all of them and I think that has helped me overall and I think that I've been a part of Colston now for about three years roughly. Wow. And that's so, a period of time so you yes. were on the development group. Yes. When that group grew, our young professionals grew from about 200 to 600 yes. people participating. So. Nice work. Thank you. <laughs> no wonder they made you president. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. And Alec, how about you? What's been your involvement? You've been here for three years. Been here for about three years. Mm -hmm. Been on Coastal for about two and a half. Okay. Um, been in the member at large position now for about a year and a half, a uh, little year and three quarters. Um, really for me, it, it was a professional development opportunity. I'm not originally from Sheboygan County. So it was just a great opportunity to, to meet other young professionals outside of, of work um, to kind of understand what other people are doing in the community and really kind of work on my networking skills with, with others. Well, very nice. I'm glad that you're both so involved, too. And we'll bring you into this soon, Carissa. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to move now to the big event that's coming up. I should say the big events that are coming up involved in what's called YP Week. And I happen to know this started three years ago yes. um, through an organization called New Walkie that started to engage chambers and other groups throughout the state to begin to have a week where we focus on this because that really helps bring the visibility up um, for the group. Um, so that's coming up April 22nd to the 29th. And it is going to start um, with a big kickoff event, but Carissa, tell us about, in general, what the purpose and, and how you see why Pee Week having already had an impact and what impact you hope to see going into the future. So the idea of YP Week, as you mentioned, it kind of started from Milwaukee. It was just at one time kind of the idea of a conference in one week and it gave the ability of young professionals to attend what they wanted to attend. And then it kind of grew from there, like you mentioned, expanding to several other communities. The idea, of course, to showcase why Sheboygan, for us, and other communities in Wisconsin are great places to live, and why you would want to stay here or come here as a place to live and work and grow. Um, so the idea kind of from there keep, kept growing, and now the idea has grown to the 72 initiative. So our goal is actually to connect all 72 counties within okay. Wisconsin to be part of this one week to not only showcase Wisconsin and young professionals, but really showcase everything that we have here and why you would want to move here, why you want to stay here. You mean a lot of people come to school here, why would you want to leave? So it's the opportunity to really show everything that we have. Mm -hmm. um, so it kind of grew from the conference side of it to now yeah. expanding completely in a different way and really making an impact on community, making changes and making conversation that we didn't have before. Yes, I've noticed a really, um, I would say, deliberate effort to engage leaders in our companies mm -hmm. so that they have that direct face-to-face -face contact with young professionals because that's what young professionals are telling us they yes. want to have. Yes. So, and it's working. So let's talk about the big event the big event that's on everyone's mind that is going to kick off this week. And 
So our big event is our YP Week kickoff event. Um, our theme is very big in Sheboygan, so that means we want to highlight everything very big about Sheboygan. Um, we're inviting all of the communities that are participating um, in YP Week statewide to Sheboygan. So we're bringing them here. Um, it's going to be held at Blue Harbor Resort um, Conference Room. And there, we're going to invite a lot of top leaders and executives to attend. So we're going to have a representative from Sargento. We're going to have Louis Gentine there, um, Randy Rudolph, um, president of Rockline Industries, um, Paul, please let me know okay. if I missed, yep, from Volrath Company, um, Terry Lewinson. She is our Sheboygan Chamber Boards Direct. She's our president. Um, she's also going to be representing Shrink. Um, so we're going to have a lot of people there. Um, we're also going to be having what we do best in Sheboygan and in Wisconsin. We're going to have a lot of cheese, broths, good food. <laughs> um, we're going to have chocolate? music, chocolate, <laughs> right. um, entertainment. And the fun thing is that this year we're inviting our companies to bring their ma mascots in. And we want them to have a race. So we're going to make it very fun, casual. It's going to be a great networking opportunity. And of course, we're highlighting our lakefront and our side. So Blue Harbor it's a great location for us to have this. It is. The views there are spectacular. Yes. So, yeah, let's hope for some really good weather, too. <laughs> um, so, so what about entertainment that evening? There's, I understand there will be some entertainment, too. Yep, we do have a DJ, and we're hoping to do a balloon drop, a countdown to kind of kick off YP Week. We do have the mascot race. We're going to have a cheese carver that you can watch. There's so many things that you can do that night, fun. and we're just trying to engage and make it fun at the same time. Betsy, really. the great part about this is that we have gotten so much support from Sheboygan community. Mm -hmm. um, we've gotten so many businesses and organizations yeah. that came together to make this event great. And the great part about it is that they're also telling their um, employees, yes. come, come and join us. Let's all get together. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, along with entertainment, we're having an after, par after party at Three Sheeps. Um, the DJ yeah. that's going to be there is going to be Tim Dolphin along with Jose Tovar, which are local DJs in Sheboygan. So we're making sure that we're highlight highlighting the best of the best here. Excellent. It's really a great opportunity to showcase why Sheboygan County is a great place to live, work, and play. Yeah. Yes. Great. So not only will we be talking to those who live here, because quite often, you know, you get into your habits and mm -hmm. you kind of forget about all the other really nice things there are to do here. So we need to re-expose the people who live here and then also hopefully have some people from some other communities come and have that taste as well. Absolutely. That'll be, great. That'll be fun. We want them to move here. Yeah. <laughs> so this come is, join us. I just want to go over the details. This is on the 22nd on a Saturday evening. Yep. Starts Correct. at? 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Tickets available? Online. So you can go online and purchase your tickets. It's 15 per ticket. Okay. Um, and then the event goes all the way to 8 p.m. And as I mentioned before, if they want to, they can also attend the after party. So that should be fun. Nice. And then online. Carissa, we're online. So if you just go to Sheboygan.org, we actually have a little tab that says Coastal Young Professionals. If you okay. just click on it, you'll see our scrolling list of events that you can just register. Very nice. So that's the kickoff. Yes. Now let's talk about the week. Who would like to start with that. Would you like to start with the Sunday brunch? S sure. Okay. So um, so after the big in Sheboygan event on, on Saturday, mm -hmm. we have a Sunday brunch uh, that following day starts at 11. And the idea is, is kind of a relaxed day to, to take a trolley tour to some various um, restaurants and bars in Sheboygan. But, really? Yeah. Nice idea. And, <laughs> yeah. And so it's kind of a, you know, Saturday is for partying, Sunday is for kind of a relaxed brunch. <laughs> and you don't uh, start till 11. And we don't yeah. start until 11, <laughs> so it gives some people a, a chance to recover, but okay. um, to kind of showcase uh, Sheboygan to, to people who may not already be here, uh, even mm -hmm. for people who are here, kind of talk a little bit more about the community. Uh, and then there's a tie-in to, to our, our uh, Coastal Cares group, which is kind of the nonprofit arm of um, Coastal. Tell me about Coastal Cares a little bit. Yeah, so, um, yeah so, so Coastal Cares uh, came about. So the mission of, of Coastal really is, is to create those future leaders of Sheboygan County. And we realized that we were touching on the professional development, we were touching on the social, um, but the service aspect, the opportunity to, to give young professionals an opportunity to give back to Sheboygan County mm -hmm. wasn't there. And we, we surveyed our young professionals and, and we got that sentiment from them. Um, so Coastal Cares was an opportunity for us to 
uh, expose young professionals to various nonprofits in the community, give them an opportunity to give back on a day with the hope that that becomes a longer lasting relationship. We recognize that young professionals are, are very, very busy and so sometimes it's hard to get started. So we wanted to ha uh, find an easy way for them to get exposed to a number of nonprofits. Uh, so this year, uh, we kind of some of the themes of, of Coastal are really inclusion and diversity. And we wanted to take those themes for our Coastal Care Group. So we had multiple nonprofits uh, that we're partnering okay. with. Um, and can we talk about those? Sure. So yeah. for our first quarter, um, so we had our first event at the end of January. Uh, we partnered with the Wow Center, uh, Above and Beyond Children's Museum, and Big Brothers Big Sisters around a Keep the Cat um, oh, uh, yes. event at the Wow Center. Um, so Wildly successful. Yeah. Very, very successful. Very I believe we had <laughs> over 300 people at uh, Above and Beyond and over 600 at the Wow Center. Uh, so it was just a great uh, opportunity Excellent. for young professionals to, to work with children, uh, to get some exposure uh, at the Wow Center, and have some great nonprofits involved. Um, our second quarter event uh, is uh, Monday, May 15th, uh, and it's mm -hmm. centered around the uh, Sheboygan uh, uh, Food Bank. So it's, uh, that Saturday is actually Stamp Out Hunger. It's a day to, uh, oh, in the mail. Perfect. Uh, to, yep. And so we recognize that the food bank would have a lot of canned goods to sort through. Um, so we have that event to help sort through some of those uh, goods coming in. We're mm -hmm. also partnering with an organization called Horizon for Girls. Uh, which is an organization that, that helps at-risk girls in our community. We just thought it would be a great opportunity to, to have some positive role models there, to work with them. Uh, they do a lot of, uh, of give, giving back to the community as well. Um, mm -hmm. So we thought it would be fun to kind of work with them, play a little game of, of who can make the most uh, baskets. Uh, <laughs> well, with, with great. Uh, third quarter, uh, end of September, we're working with the uh, Glacial, Lakes, um, Glacial Lakes group as well as Generations. Mm -hmm. So Glacial Lakes is, is focused on stewardship of the environment. Uh, Generations is an organization in Plymouth, uh, talking, uh, kind of a, a partnership between uh, kind of very young daycare right. as well as uh, um, senior. senior center. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's right around uh, Grandparents Day at the end. Oh, so we want to give, they have a very timing. active group. So we wanted to partner with them to, to clean up some local sites in the community. Uh, and then our last event um, in, uh, I think at this point we're looking at early November, uh, is going to be with uh, Salvation Army and it's uh, mm -hmm. Coats for Kids. Wow, that's excellent. Really excellent because, you know, looking at all the data too from millennials and this, this generation is, they really do want to be involved in service to their communities. So I think you'll really get some good commitment in that regard. And just from our first event in, in January, we've had a number of non -prof or uh, young professionals volunteer at Above and Beyond at the WOW Center moving forward for the last couple months. So it's been very successful in that regard. You are indeed very successful. Carissa and Gracia, let's talk a little bit more about, so we've done the Sunday brunch in YP Week. We'll get back to that now. Um, what's, what follows that? So on Monday, um, we're going to be having a behind the scenes at Torquay Coffee. And our behind the scenes program is really targeted towards touring a company and having them speak of how, when they started, um, what they do. And it's really an opportunity for our YPs to ask questions. Um, we tour the company and hopefully we're going to get to taste some coffee. So it's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be um, in the morning time. Okay. And they can go ahead and sign up online as well. There's free food. And it'll be good. <laughs> Excellent. So something to go with the coffee? Yep, but they're yeah, going right. to do a coffee tasting and then kind of pair it with some food. Nice. There really are differences in coffee. Yeah. Significant yeah. differences. And they make, Turkey makes and packages so many kinds. You have, yes. I had yeah. no idea. Oh, yeah. It'll be a, it'll be a fun tour. I've toured there before. So. Nice. Yeah. Um, and then Tuesday. On, and then on Tuesday, um, it's called Leading Across Generations. It's actually a workshop. Um, his name is Chip Lutz. We're actually bringing him in, and he is going to talk kind of in a unique situation. It's how millennials can work better with the older generations. We hear a lot how the older generations need to change and work and help us kind of come into the workforce, but really how can we also help on their end to better make work situations better, how to better communicate, all that kind of stuff. Excellent. Excellent. And how to work better as a team. Huh? Yep. 
Yeah, that's great. That's great. Can I go to that one? Yes. 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 Open to everyone. Okay. Any age. And we should say that about YP Week, that the, yep. the kickoff and the events are open. To um, everybody. Open to everyone. So Not just young professionals. Right. And there's a little urgency, too, because some of them fill up. Yes. Yes. So we want to say that, too. If, you're, if, you're, if any of these sound really good to you, you should sign up quickly. Yes. Okay. And then Wednesday? Wednesday is our um, Google Apps event. We actually are looking at um, how Google doesn't just have email anymore. It um, doesn't, it's not just a search engine. They have so many apps out there that we don't even know about. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to actually start with is an overview of just all the apps that they have. I even found out yesterday that they have an app that, say you're going on vacation and you see a sign and it's mm -hmm. in a different language, you can take your phone, put it up, and on the screen it will translate it. So you'll see the nice. picture, but all the words will now be in English if we need. So you'll see a stop on the stop sign, but in front of you in real life, you don't see the word stop. So that is amazing and you, don't, is. you don't even know about it. And so at that event, we're going to go over all the apps they kind of have and just a real brief description of each and then kind of get mm -hmm. um, which ones they want more information on and more of a deep dive and then we'll try to do a few deep dives of a few of them and then the ones that they really want to know even more information that we're hoping throughout the year to kind of make it a program so that every couple months we'll actually do deep dives on specific apps on how you can use them and use them on your That's phone. Excellent. Yes, we're really excited about that one. And then, so we're actually doing a morning and afternoon session because we want to be open to availability on that day. We we're really excited about that one. And then, what is day is it? Thursday, Thursday. Yes. is our soup event. We're actually partnering with um, the local Sheboygan soup group. They just started and they actually take community projects and they try to start them up in a way. So if they want to redo an alleyway, redo a park, any kind of community okay. um, activity that someone has an idea about, you actually submit your idea and then it's judged and I think four or five of them are picked. So at that actual event, it will be announced which projects are going to be selected and then we'll be there, of course, volunteering, giving out soup <laughs> and you can hear all the presentations. They'll also have one in fall and the hope is that after hearing the projects that also didn't get selected that hopefully a few mm -hmm. people, businesses may want to pick on some, pick up some of those projects as well. Excellent. So they actually raise funds. Yes. By selling soup? Um, some of it is by soup and then okay. also donations through right. Sheboygan right. County. Okay. It's just a great way to empower people to yeah. uh, give back to the community, to make a difference, to, to make a change. Yeah. And I love the fact that there, it's a group of people who are selecting um, those yep. those particular projects too. So you have so much buy-in from yes. the beginning if you do it that way, rather than someone sitting in their office and saying, well, I want to redo this. Yep. So, right. Yeah, what yeah. a great concept. That's wonderful. And then on Friday? Friday, Friday is our Food for Thought series. Mm -hmm. And what we do for a Food for Thought series is we invite a top executive or leader to come and speak with our YPs. Um, this this time around, we're going to have Trick Jacobson. He is the owner and CEO mm -hmm. of Jake's Cafe. So he's going to be there. We're going to have like a Q&A time for our YPs, and we're going to have some interview questions that we're going to be interviewing him. Um, it's going to be at the Yacht Club. Great breakfast, great breakfast and a great lakefront view again. Um, so that's going to be from 7.30 in the morning until 9, and they can go ahead and register online. So that and should be really fun. And those are great events. Some those of are the past really fun. participants have you had Laura Kohler, you had Louis Gentine, Randy people, and they, they were so candid. Yes. You know, yep. when they're asked those questions by young professionals, they just tend to be very open, and the environment is very casual. So people will really enjoy that. If you're interested, you need to sign up right away because it's one of my favorite limited. programs that yeah. we have, so it should be a lot of fun. Okay. And then Saturday, we are having, um, we're going to be partnering up with Neutral Ground. So it's a business um, where they teach jiu-jitsu, and, and they're going to be having a self-defense class for our YP. So we're going to get really active. Um, it's going to be fun. Okay. Uh, it's, it's in the afternoon time, so it's from 1 to 3 p.m. Um, so it should be a lot of fun to do that as well. 
Excellent. So that rounds out the week. Yeah. Yep. And at the defense class, we actually have um, our instructor is actually a police officer, so he's trying to give us some background information too on how important self-defense is and right. how you need to know how to protect yourself in any situation. Yes. Another one I need to attend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. I would like to add that at all of our events for YP Week, we're going to be having um, a food cart. Uh, so non-perishables, and if, if you attend the event and you want to bring any non-perishables, we're going to be donating those, so we're very excited. Yeah. And that's going to go support the Coastal Cares event in May. The food bank. Food bank yep. events, okay. yes. Excellent. Nice tie-in. I think all of you working together like that really creates a, a great group of things that coordinate. You know, everything seems to feed something else, so that's wonderful. Very quickly, I want to talk a little bit about October Feast. Now we're done with YP Week. Let's yes. imagine ourselves in the fall, but we don't want to skip summer. <laughs> but Alec, I know you have some, some responsibilities in regard to October Feast. Yes. Tell us a little bit about so that. So sort of at the other pole of, of the year, six months or so later, mm -hmm. uh, October Feast is really just a great way to celebrate young professionals in, in the community, have some fun. Um, as the name implies, it's in October, and it's kind of a, a feast. We have Definitely. restaurants, restaurant tours in the community come in, uh, give samples of, of, of some of their foods, and as a group, we kind of vote on who has the best food in Sheboygan County. And they work hard at it. And they the work very really hard. Good. It's yeah, so it's delicious. very good. So. Uh, this is restaurant quality food here coming in, um, and it's just a great way to, to get together, mingle, and network. Nice. I, I love that event. I think, what, upwards of 400 people attend? Always. Three to 400 people, yeah. And where is it this year? We are... At the John Michael John Cole Arts Center. Thanks. We've, okay, yeah. I wasn't... I, I know we've been there the past few years, but... Well, that's... And what is the date for that one? October 13th. Okay. So the second Thursday in October. So put that on your calendar. You can't quite register yet, but, but it, will, it will be coming up. Um, and then, you know... There are two other signature events coming up that we almost forgot that are really yes. important. Um, we have Next Wave actually yeah. coming up. So Next Wave um, is May 9th, and it's a time to celebrate our young professionals. We have the awards of Entrepreneur of the Year, um, Community Volunteer Member of the Year, uh, Top YP of the Year. And after they're selected, we also have the Top 10 Young Professionals of the Year. And then lastly, our Committee Member of the Year Award that really represents that community member that has been pushing Coastal forward and really making a difference. So okay. it's a fun night to nice. really showcase our young professionals. And that night is and the time? It's May 9th, and it starts at, I believe, 5 o'clock. Okay, and the judges are hard at work. The nominations have been yep. made. Yes. Um, you know, stay tuned next year if you know of someone who, who, who deserves that award. But also, please plan to attend. It's an excellent way to celebrate this group of people who are becoming more and more important and vital in our communities. So, thank you, Carissa. Yeah. Anything else? I think that was good. Yeah. We're doing well. Yeah. So, I want to thank all of you for joining us today. Um, we are so happy that this group has happened. Um, I think Young Professionals started maybe 15, 12 or 15 years ago, but not until the past four or five years has it really taken off. And thank you so much for your hard work and involvement and, and the engagement of all our young professionals um, in this vital effort. The employers are so appreciative and want to be involved, and that's a good sign. So. Thanks again for being with us on the show. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.